What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Ah. Uh, uh, Betsy, I assume that this is the patient you spoke about with the pent-up hostility. Hello, I'm Dr. Delp. Do you get these headaches often? If you take away ethics of the Christian thinking and remove it from society, you get a happier, healthier, more law-abiding, less violent society. By the way, Christian ethics? Ethics? Please, point to any Christian society out there that has any sense of what is ethical. Good luck with that. In the United States, fundamentalist Christians voted for Donald Trump in huge numbers. How do you explain that and whatever the fuck Christian ethics is? You end up having a society that is law-abiding and non-violent. Where there are new values that come on the market. See what this cultist did there? She conflated values with Christian ethics. Values are not ethics. If you don't want to have the old values, such as don't lie, don't steal, uh, don't envy your neighbor, those types of rules. That's right. If you're not a Christian, you steal. You commit crimes. You're a bad person if you're not a Christian. If you have ethics instead of Christian morals, you must just go out and rob and cheat and murder and steal and arson, stuff like that. Because, gosh, what's stopping you from doing that when you abandon Christian morals? This is what this clown is asserting. Then you'll be getting something else. And to many secularists, surprise, we've seen how this has happened in the West. Yes, and it is a demonstrable fact that that something else is a healthier, happier, more productive, safer society. A selfishness, a materialism, a hedonism, greed. Gosh, that sounds like a religious society. Secular societies are not like that. Religious ones are. This was not, though, the intent of the original meaning of the word secularism. And it still isn't. Secular societies are not like that. Religious ones are. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.